Hello pilots and this is FFA from the CDB Academy and today I'm here with Hillbilly, one of my corpmates from Gates of Darkness. And today we're going to be talking about a new weapon system that came out in update 1.0.12. This weapon is called the Scatter Gun and it can be fitted on any interceptor. Um scatter guns they improve as you go as you go through the tiers like the damage improves and the projectile speed improves what this weapon does is it has a high spread but it has projectiles that home onto the target like a shotgun so you fire many projectiles and they home onto your target um what i'm going to do is going to show you how to build your ship around the scatter gun so i'm going to use the nebulon as an example so since it has um, 17 degree spread I would add electronic guidance I wouldn't bother with hull or shield because that doesn't really affect the characteristics of the scatter gun so it has a 30 times per minute rate of fire so to increase that I'll add in a rhythm heatsink and that only does it to 32.3 but it's still something I would use a shared cooler and maybe a second one, but I'm not going to use that. So that increases it to 9.2 instead of 7 without the iridium heatsink. What I'm next going to do is I'm going to use the supernova deflector. And the reason I'm going to use the supernova deflector, even though it decreases my projectile speed, is it increases the time I have from my guns to the target for the projectiles to turn. So it's like, um, take for example, the Jericho Long Range Torpedo. If you add the tachyon charge to it, it speeds the missile up. But it does not increase the turn radius, like it can't turn as much to compensate for the speed. So um, you can't make a sharp turn as you want. So if I decrease the projectile speed, on the scatter gun, then it will give more time for my projectiles to turn. Another example is like um, the cruise engine on a fighter. Even though it goes faster, it turns like a frigate. So that's basically the same principle. I want to give my projectiles as much time as possible to turn and face the target before hitting the target. Another good thing about using the supernova deflector is it decreases my projectile speed to 1907 meters per second. That is very close to the piercing missiles which have a flight speed of 1800 meters per second. So I can use um, the same targeting reticle, that little circle, the little circle you see um, in your screen when you target someone, I can use that for both my main weapon and for my rockets. So that way if the enemy is moving in a straight line I can fire the rocket from 3,500 meters away. So that's how I would build my ship. And now I'm going to kick Hillbilly out of the group so we can go in a custom match together. Alrighty. Create uh, USA. Let's go to. Let's see. Team battle. Uncheck auto balance. And include every rank because I'm not sure which ranks you brought so I'm just gonna do everything I'm gonna apply right I brought all uh, rank I, all tier 5 rank 15 okay so I'm, I made the what's it called the match and there we go so that just tells you So this is like my second time recording this video because I realized that my push to talk button for OBS has changed. So I was talking and it was not being recorded, which sucks. So I'm going to do this the second time. Oh man! Any password or anything or just join? No password. You're in already. Alright. Okay. I'm in there. So the things I found out about the scatter gun, uh, last time I recorded, well I thought I recorded, was that the projectiles are explosive damage so it does a lot more damage on a frigate than it does on an interceptor ah okay so I'm just gonna show you the other thing I found out was that distance from the enemy does not matter 
it will do the same amount of damage roughly um like at all of the same times if you're always facing your target uh okay Please, so, i liked it i went back to the nova i took that super cooler off and went back to the nova projectile to give it time to change or you know so they could track the target yep the benefit of using the supernovas is that it also has the increased damage so i'm just going to show them what it is like if you fire at an interceptor from maximum distance i think that's all right oh stop going closer please see me there this is me right here just stay still please got it almost there okay see 1400 oh. is the maximum like without Where criticals but critical is what you just saw there, which was 2870, I think. So, Hillbilly, can you self destruct and bring out a fighter, sure please? Can. Thank you. Bringing out the fighter. Uh, tell me when you spawned, please. Uh, it's spawning now. Okay, see you. Okay, so this is going to prove that the projectiles are explosive. I don't know, I chose US server, and I'm getting really bad ping. It's, it's not yeah, me, I noticed it's, it's too. the server. It's weird. Okay, so maximum distance. Stop going closer, please. Almost there. Touchy. It's very touchy. Okay. So. Wow. See that? Yeah, I sure did, man. And I'm gonna move closer, but you don't, please. And I'm gonna show you that there's hardly right. any effect. So about 1,700 is the average uh, medium distance for any other interceptor weapon, besides the um, ECM weapon and the what's it called the first one you get do you know what it's called the first interceptor weapon I forget. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah oh. Uh, 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 trap no cannon no that's not it that's it's the first yeah. weapon you get in tier one for interceptors it's uh, oh lord I, it's been so long i can i don't remember mate but uh it's like a phaser a, a plasma phaser or something isn't it no sorry it's it's plasma. I, I know what it is. I just can't remember the name. So oh, I'm gonna fire yeah, okay. And does yeah. roughly the same amount of damage. You saw that? Okay, so now I'm going to go really close range. So like 300. Or, or 100, I guess. And does exactly the same amount. Um, yeah, kill that for me, would you? <laughs> oh, wait. Do that again, please. Do that again, please. But don't move. Alrighty. Just to prove that this is explosive projectiles. Because, okay. See, it did damage to the heavy guard drone. See, oh, I'm about to die. I need to kill this guy before it kills me. Yeah, you may have to. There we go. That was close. Uh -huh. Okay, so can you bring out a fighter, please? I mean, a frigate. Sorry about that. I've got a frigate. Uh, I've got. I've got one frigate. What I got here. And then I'm going to show them like how I could use the targeting reticle to uh, use on my main weapon and also my rockets. Uh, well, it let me out a match because I didn't, I didn't bring a fighter. I just brought a tackler. Uh, f uh, you didn't bring a frigate? Well, yeah, I've got a frigate. Let me get that frigate out of here. Long range frigate, that'll work. US server is acting wonky. <laughs> My FPS is 75, but it's laggy for some reason. I got a good flame frame right. It's not us. Alrighty, we're up. That good for you?
He dies. Say so. I got 25% shields. Now I'm down to 25%. Down to about 10% yeah. shields. There we go. So, it does much more damage on a frigate. And distance from the enemy does not matter. If, only except like, if you're maneuvering really fast. That might, that might be a big difference. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> um... Can you like move around? Like, just move forward in a straight line, please. Straight line. Yeah. Man, this is laggy. Okay. So. I can use the targeting reticle for my main weapon and my rockets. Ah. Oh. But I mean, it just hammers the shields, man, like some kind of crazy. Oh, okay, stop moving, please. Wow, you should see my interceptor right now. It's wobbling. See? So it does that. Oh, wow. There we go. Boom, dude. Cut through okay. the hole with no problem at all. So, can you bring an and interceptor that hole this was time? 100%. Did you see that? Yep. Can you bring an interceptor, please? So, like, I hope I hit this one, because you're going to be going really fast. So, it's not... If I miss, it's going to be me, but not the targeting reticle. Okay. Okay. Put me just to buzz in front of you? Just straight line, please. Straight line. Here we go. Straight line. See that? I didn't have to yeah. be close at all. And he was going uh, perpendicular to me. It's easier if you're, like, in a parallel line, like, moving in the same direction. Alright, okay. let me see if I can just... So you want to follow in behind me then, right? Well, I, I ran out of missiles, so I think this is the end of the video. Oh. Uh, thanks for the help. Okay. Yeah, man, no problem. Ending the video in 3, 2, 1.